Ladies and gents, welcome back to the channel. I am Sefian FM, and today we're looking at someone who I could have sworn I had done before. It's my old age. I keep getting this list of names, and I could have sworn I've done him before, but Ryan Gravenberch is today. Uh, obviously, it is the start of FM 23, so you're in 2022. His move to Liverpool has not happened, has not materialized. He's still sitting at Bayern Munich. He's 20 years old, Dutch. He's already got 10 caps already. Uh, 140K as a breakout prospect. Now, the whole issue with him and the Dutch team right now, if you haven't read, uh, he kind of is snubbing the, is it the under-21s or the actual Dutch team? I think it's the under-21s. He's snubbing them for this international break in the next two weeks because he just moved to Liverpool. He's trying to get settled with the team. He's in a new country. He's in a new league. Uh, and he's getting crap for it from the, the Dutch team, saying it was a bad choice. We're going to punish him later. Awful decisions. Awful decisions from the Dutch team. It's an awful way to be managed. But that's my own personal issues with the Dutch team. You don't punish a player when he just moves to a new uh, new league, a new country. Uh, he's trying to learn everything, learn the new squad, learn the new tactics and everything. I think it was a good move on Gravenberch's role, but you know, still, I'm a Liverpool fan, so what else am I going to say? But if you look at his stats right now, he actually looks pretty nice for a 20-year-old. He's got a lot of 14s, some 15s, and a couple of 13s here and there. Marking of 10s, not fantastic. I don't care about long throws or finishing, although he, he apparently likes shooting the ball. But leadership of 8 is not great. But overall, he's looking pretty nice so far. He does come from Ajax, so he's got a slew of trophies already. His one personal one is the Dutch Player of the Year for 2020 and 2021. But European Championship under-17 winners, uh, Toto KNVB Becker winners, Eredivisie champions. So he's got a lot of those. But we're going to see in the next, what's the first international goal? There you go, against Georgia at 19, first international cap against Turkey at 18. So we're going to see how he progresses in the next 10 years. Clearly, he's not at Liverpool again. We'll see if he does end up in the Premier League. But let's check it out. At the tail end of the 2033 season, you can see he's at Real Madrid, so he's moved quite a bit. Uh, he's got a couple of other teams in there already. 31 years old, 85 caps with 11 goals, but he is transfer listed from Real Madrid because they are no longer part of his plans. They no longer require his services. Listed for 38 and a half million though. Seems like you can possibly get him for pretty cheap. We'll see in just a minute what his stats were and how he moved along. But stats-wise, in general, he looks pretty nice still. Leadership never grew. Uh, marking grew to 11. Penalty taking down to 10. Wasn't it up in the yellows? But finishing 10 still there. So it looks like, I mean, he's still grown. He's done some time. Uh, and actually, if you look back at the 10 years time that I just showed, in his first season, up 22 to 23, he didn't grow at all because he didn't play at all. And it kind of shows you how much you can actually grow if you put him on the pitch and if you get these players into some good training and some good pitch time, uh, they're going to grow leaps and bounds, hopefully. But overall, I mean, he does look pretty nice so far. So he is at a negative nine potential, which means and he can start the game anywhere from 150 to 180 in his potential. Uh, it is absolutely insane. If he's up towards the 180 mark, uh, I mean, the, the sky's the limit for him. I'm going to guess it's more in the 160s or thereabout. Uh, his, I mean, his stats are great, but they could have grown a little bit more, I think, the last 10 years. Uh, I think they could be a little higher in certain respects. But overall, still definitely one to check out. So career stats-wise, as you can see, Ajax to Bayern, 16.75 million. Off on to Stad Rene on loan for 2.6 million. Did okay there. Off to Bayer Leverkusen for 2 million on loan. Did okay there. I mean, actually, he did. Well, then came back to Bayern and did fairly well in the Bundesliga. Didn't, still didn't play all that much, but moved off to Chelsea for $87 million. Wow. 695s is not great, but he spent a couple of seasons there uh, or hovering around the 7 mark. Then off to Real Madrid for $60 million. Definitely didn't get much in terms of what they paid for him, but probably in the last, con last uh, year of his contract. $60 million off to Real Madrid. Did a fantastic first season. An okay second season. Uh, and now they just want to get rid of him. So back to milestones, obviously Ajax, he won everything because Ajax is such a fantastic team there. Bayern, he won everything because they're such a fantastic team there. Champions League winners, there you go. 
But off to, uh, to Stad Rene, off to Bayer Leverkusen, anything individual. No, he's got nothing but uh, continuing with Bayern, bought by Chelsea. Champions League winners against Super Cup winners. Nothing in the personal accolades, though, but Super Cup, Champions League, wow, with Real Madrid. So he's got Champions League with three different teams, Super Cup with two. Did Bayern ever get the Super Cup? Yes, they, well, DFL Super Cup. So he's got a trophy cabinet absolutely chock full of cups. Unfortunately, he's only got the one personal accolade. As a Liverpool fan, this is what I love seeing. Not a lot of injuries there whatsoever. He does get moderate, so that's not great. So if he does pick up an injury, it looks like he's going to be out a little time at least. But half slights, half moderates, one major. Uh, hopefully, it's nothing too bad. Uh, I mean, from this angle, it doesn't look like it's much to be worried about whatsoever. And then tactically, midfield center for the club, 38 appearances, 11 goals, 5 assists, 710. Uh, as a DM twice with 715, and as an attacking left, one for club, 67. Uh, eight internationally on the DM side, one assist, 714. So it's, it, he's not looking too bad. So actually, overall, it doesn't look too bad. I mean, he's being thrown into a lot of the versatility that he's got. AML, uh, midfield center, and the DM, not in the AMC, not on the right side. But he's still being used around the pitch, which is nice. Gives him game time. So with him being transfer listed, we're going to check out when he retires and where he retires and how he looks then. Well, at the tail end of the 2039 season seems to be when he retires. Uh, his contract with Levante right now expires in 18 days. And if you look a, a year ahead, or at least in my save, he is head of unemployed head of youth development. So this seems to be when he retires, even though he wants to feature more in the first team. But his stats have definitely dropped technically. Uh, physically as well. Mentally, not. I mean, he's still there a little bit. Some 15s going down to 11s. Uh, leadership of 9, work rate of 10. Not great. But he is 37 years old, so it's definitely time to retire. But 106 caps. He has done very well for the national team. Uh, and it seems to... I would say he's had a pretty good career. From Real Madrid, he did move on from a free uh, to Zenit. And then off on a free again to Levante. And that's where he finishes only two appearances. That is it. Five appearances for that second season at Zenit. Uh, 20, from 28 down, wow, that's pretty crazy. But overall, I mean, he's had a ton of teams that he's played for. So he kind of goes where he's needed and then kind of moves off to the next. But that has been the life and times of Ryan Gravenberch. It seems to have been a pretty good career. I mean, if you can get him for, you know, in the first couple of seasons for hopefully not too much, 87 million is a bit much for my taste, but... That's five years on, six years on. So if you can get him for cheap, he looks like he's going to be pretty good as long as you keep nurturing him and keep giving him game time and all that. But that is it for Ryan Gravenberch, a pretty nice career. I am Stephen FM for the Football Manager Blog Channel saying thank you as always for watching. Take care and enjoy.